here's the factors that affect cap rate, right? So the first is risk. Higher risk equals higher cap rate. This is not something that is understood by most people. There's a lot of people that say, no, the reverse is true. When you're buying at a low cap rate, you could be overpaying. Not really, because that would mean that markets like, like the San Francisco Bay Area would be, would be you know, different sorts of markets. Keep in mind, higher risk, whenever the risk is higher, in that market, the cap rates are high. The San Francisco Bay Area market is the lowest cap rate market in the US because pretty much every investor considers it to be the safest market in the US. So as risk goes up, cap rates go up. Another example of that on the flip side is Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan is the highest cap rate market in the US because it's also considered one of the riskiest markets in the US because it's been losing population for a long time. Now, in areas like the San Francisco Bay Area that have lower cap rates, the lending environment is flexible. It's easier to get money. On the flip side, if you're trying to get money for a property in Detroit, Michigan, you're going to run into more challenges. You're going to have to go through more scrutiny because the high cap rates market tend to be very, to, to fluctuate, right? In the Bay Area, you're not going to see a large amount of fluctuation. You'll see properties in the four, four to five cap rate for a class B, um, you know, class C's might be five to six, but you're not going to see five to 10. But in Detroit, you're going to see cap rates all the way from eight cap to 16 cap, which means that there's a much greater room for people to make mistakes. So the lending environment is tougher, so you don't make mistakes. Um, so liquidity in the financial market. So, so a rising market means leads to a lower cap rate. Now, this, this is not always true, uh, but essentially, as prices go up, cap rates go down. So prices going up equals cap rate going down, which means that for the last five or six years, everywhere in the United States, even in Detroit, cap rates have been going down. They've consistently gone down. As of Q4 2017, the last time we had data, cap rates were still declining, which means prices were still rising for multifamily. Tax codes. So Favorable tax code, and boy, did we get a favorable tax code a few months ago, creates tax shelters. This boosts demand, and this reduces cap rates, which increases prices. So the, the Trump tax bill is not friendly towards individuals. It is very friendly towards investors, particularly multifamily investors in, in particular. And so we think that the cap rates are going to go down a little bit to account for the boosts from the tax code. Then appreciation, right? When when prices go up, investors are willing to based on a, to pay based on a lower cap rate. So as prices go up, cap rates go down. 